Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. Today, I'm here with England international and legend, Paul Drinkle. Now, in this video, Paul is going to be showing us how to do forehand touch. This uh, video is um, part of a Play It Like Paul series, which we're doing um, in partnership with Bry Bar Table Tennis. So keep watching, we've got lots of good demonstrations and great tips from Paul. This video is brought to you in partnership with Bry Bar Table Tennis. Visit brybartt.co.uk today for a wide range of rubbers, blades, bats, balls and clothing from all your favourite table tennis brands. The forehand touch we're mainly going to use as a receive of service. Um, when, when your opponent gives you a short serve, um, you, you don't feel comfortable that you can, you can flick or be aggressive on that, that shot. Then we come in and we use that forehand touch, stay low to the table, head very close to the racket, and then try and come slightly around the side of the ball. See a lot of people with an open bat, and if there's any side spin on, on the serve or the push that they're doing, it can jump off. If you come around the side of the ball, it helps control that a lot better to stay closer to the net. So the, t the timing of the forehand push, you're trying to get it very early. Um, very early obviously is a difficult <laughs> difficult place to be but it's as the ball comes up you, you want to feel comfortable if you come in too close to the table you might find then the only way for you to get the ball over is actually to go too high so just let the ball bounce just a little bit up and then you come in and you're trying to hit the ball a little bit lower than the net height so that you can keep that ball hugged around that net to keep control of the point. With the different spins on the serve, the backspin, you might want to, to open the bat angle up a little bit more because the spin's gonna take it down into the net. Another, another way to try and adjust that is, is if you be a bit more aggressive on the ball and use their spin to your benefit. Um, with the float serve, it's very important that you, you try and play more of an aggressive shot. Again, coming slightly around the side of the ball to keep the ball a little bit lower to the net. But if you come in with a float serve and just, just put your bat in the way, you'll find the ball going up. Try and come in and play just a little shot. It's just a little movement. You're trying to stay relaxed, but keep control on that ball. One serve that people can do to try and stop you doing this is the, the topspin serve. It's very difficult then to come in and touch short. It is possible. You've got to have very good timing um, and good feeling on the, on the hand and the racket to do that. But I wouldn't really advise it unless you feel very comfortable with the basic forehand touch against backspin. Again, it's not just it's not, I'm just defending, I'm just going to put the ball back on the table. You're still trying to take control of the point. You can change the position on the table. You're trying to get it low to the net. And again, if you come around the side of the ball, that spin is then very difficult for your opponent to control. So once you've done that, then stay aggressive, stay active, and then you try and get back onto the top of the point. So that's Paul's touch return. It's a clever shot. It's a clever shot because he gets the ball to bounce once, twice on my side of the table. So that makes it much harder for me to attack. Obviously, I can't wait for the ball to come off the table and then loop it because it's not coming off the table, it's bouncing twice. So I can't do that. So I have Another option, I could potentially go in there and flick, and that would be one option. Um, but against someone like Paul Drinkle, that's, my flick's not going to be strong enough and he's just going to counter the ball straight past me. 
So what I was doing then, I was trying to keep the ball short myself, um, but not really having the same control as Paul. So mine was starting to drift a little bit long, giving Paul the opportunity to get into the attack. So it's just using a very simple tactic here. I've served a bit shorter to try to stop him from attacking. He's kept the ball short himself to stop me from attacking. I've been a little bit looser with my touch and then he's been able to get the first attack in. Thank you for watching and a big thank you to Paul Drinkle for sharing his table tennis tips and also a big thank you to Bry Bar for sponsoring this video. If you need any table tennis equipment, go to the Bry Bar website at brybartt.co.uk and you'll find bats, blades, rubbers, balls, tables, all the stuff you need to play table tennis. Okay, I've got more videos coming soon, so please make sure you click the subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.